Tamala Fish. That's me. Uh, hi, I'm Tamala Fish. Just to be clear what side I'm on. I have an extra <laughs> if anybody wants one over here, too. Uh, I am a homeowner in San Rafael. My son is 15 and is now going to um, a special program in San Marin. I'm very proud of him. I am not, I did not come to Dixie School, but I did come from another school that changed its name and survived. Uh, my son's school used to be called St. Mark's, and now it's called Mark Day. That happened three years ago. I'm just going to repeat it real slowly again so everybody can take it in for a minute. St. Mark's changed their name to Mark Day. Three years ago, everybody survived. Everybody. <laughs> Why did they do that? Because the name really didn't showcase what the school was anymore. It was a good school. It is a good school. Dixie was and is a great school. Everybody knows that. Nothing in this change the name is about the school itself. But you know what? It could be a better school. It could be a better school for all the reasons the people before me have spoken. Because whether you're aware of it or not, Marin County is the most racially segregated and disparate county in the entire state of California. And you know what? We're not going to be able to hide that in this room. People know that. It's out there. We're worse than Orange County. Let that kind of sink in for a second. Right? And why is that? How does that happen? It happens in little tiny ways like this, where there's a school name named Dixie. And it's a great school. But how many black teachers, how many excellent black students, how many diverse kids are you going to get in here with a name like Dixie? Do you really have to think that it's easy for people of a different history than yours to just simply forget it, overcome it, and just go ahead and go with it because you don't want to spend, you know, five more dollars in getting to New Jersey? The money isn't the problem. I understand this has been tried twice before, and they actually came up with all the money. So the money is, is just an excuse. All right? You know what's not an excuse? You know why I'm here, even though my son went to Mark Day? I saw it. I'll be quick. Thank you very much for understanding. I do social media for a living. I'm not even going to tell you the comments, but this gentleman who stood up earlier, when you see what's written about this name change on Facebook, when you see what's written about this on Nextdoor, you should be ashamed. You should be sickened. Your children are going to school in a place and read these comments. What are you doing to them? 